How's it going everybody? Thank you for watching this video and just a quick note if you guys are subscribed or if you guys haven't subscribed yet make sure to subscribe and when you do click this little bell here on my channel and get all notifications sent to you from my channel that way you guys can be updated with all of my channel updates and uploads and whatever else I do on here. Thanks for watching. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the Source Code. My name is Deshaun and today we're going to be looking at creating custom scoreboards and scoreboards can be used for a variety of things. What we're going to use it for today is we are just going to make a simple scoreboard to show us how much gold we have and we're just going to set some arbitrary value to that. We're not going to go into a bunch of configs and whatnot. Um, so once again, all the code will be, will be available to you guys on GitHub. And lastly, make sure not to skip around this video or you could miss a line of code which could greatly affect the outcome of your plugin. So we're going to go simply into a public, um, into a player join event. So go ahead and say event handler, public void join, uh, parentheses, player join event. We want to go ahead and get the player here. So player, player equals event dot get player. Go ahead and import that. So the next thing we have to do is we have to go ahead and get the scoreboard manager, um, which allows us to basically start doing everything inside of our scoreboard here. So we're going to say scoreboard manager M equals bucket dot get scoreboard manager. Now you can go ahead and you know set these you know set M to whatever you want. Um, I just keep, like to keep things simple, um, especially if we're not going to have anything in this line of in this section of code, uh, which would be repeating itself. All right, and then the next thing we have to do is we have to go ahead and get the actual scoreboard. Right, can't do anything without scoreboards. So we'll say scoreboard, and we will just call this B equals manager dot get new oops sorry not manager m m dot get new scoreboard go ahead and import that and now make sure you're importing bucket for all of this um we gotta make sure we're not importing the wrong things i know i've been in a bad habit of not checking my imports um but i will start doing that so um so we got our scoreboard now now the next thing that you can do and you don't have to do it is you can do teams for scoreboards so you can have i believe you can have as many teams as you want um, or maybe as many teams as there are colors. I'm not really sure um, But with teams um, it allows you to do a lot of things So if you're doing something where you kind of want people to be in teams um, with the scoreboards, obviously um, You can you know, you can have it so you can see friendly invisibles You can have it so they can have a prefix and a suffix uh, You can set the display names um, and you can turn on on and off friendly fire So that is something you guys can think about. Uh, I'm not gonna go into it, but basically all you would do is say um Team T equals B dot get uh, that get team or sorry that register new team and then you give that team a name and then you can go ahead and you know get a bunch of different uh, values down here I guess I'll just show you quickly what you can do here so you can go ahead and do T dot you know you can add player remove player set suffix set prefix set display name. Um, a bunch of different things. Um, like I said, we're not going to do that for this because we don't need teams. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. But the next thing we have to do is we have to create an objective for our scoreboard. So what do we want our scoreboard to really be here for? And now there are some default ones such as uh, death count, kill count, uh, total or player kill count, total kill count, health, XP, uh, your level, your food, your air, and your armor. Um, but we are just going to go ahead and do what's called dummy because um, we just want to set our own objective. So we'll just go ahead and say objective O equals board dot register. Oops, sorry, it's not board, it's B. Register new objective. I always do board, I don't know why I didn't do it this time. We'll call it test. Um, it can be called really whatever you want. It doesn't particularly matter. Um, you can set it to a name that you might remember. Uh, so we'll actually just call this um, gold and we'll go ahead and import that. And now with our objective, we can set the display name of our objective. So we go ahead and say set display name and we'll just do something really simple. We'll use one of my favorite colors in bucket, uh, which is check color dot dark aqua plus tutorial server. And now you can obviously add your own custom server name there. Uh, I'm not going to, I'm just, you know, going to just do tutorial server because that's exactly what it is. And now we technically have, um, our um, scoreboard, right? Well, we forgot to do one thing here. We have to actually go ahead and set uh, the display slot, which would be display slot dot sidebar. 
Uh, you can do below the name and in player list, um, but we want it in the sidebar. So we technically have our scoreboard here, right? The only thing is though, is we are missing what's called scores. And scores are the things that you actually see, um, like if you were on high pixel here, uh, which I'll show you in a minute, you'll, you'll see what, what it actually means to have a score. And actually we know we'll join right now. So now there's two things that you have to know, uh, possibly two, I might've just said some arbitrary number. Uh, two things you have to know when you're doing scoreboards. Um, it's gonna say score S and well, we'll call it gold because that's what it's going to be equals O dot get score. And we're going to call this chat color dot white plus gold and then plus chat color dot gold plus and we'll just give it a value of 10 we'll give it 10 10,000 and we'll end that and then the next thing that we have to look at here uh, that actually might be oh let's just put commas around this or quotations there we go so the next thing it's going to ask us to do is we have to set the score, right? And now you might think this is what we want to do for 10,000, but that's not what you want to do. What you actually want to do is look at this here, right? So this says 13, this is a blank slot, but then 12 is team kills, colon, and amount, which is exactly what we did right here. We did gold, colon, and an amount, which we can obviously set as a variable, but we don't have any variables to you know grab from. The score here, where it says set score, think of it as more of a position, right? So it's the position of where you want your 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 score to go, right? So um, position one, and it goes from bottom up, lowest to highest, right? So for their position one, they said high pixel, well, www.highpixel.net. And that's what they did for one. So we are just going to, we only have one thing here, so we'll just go ahead and say one. And then the very last thing we have to do is we have to set the player's scoreboard to our scoreboard, which is B. And now when a player joins the server, they will be given this scoreboard, right? I think we did everything there. Let me just, well, I guess we'll join and find out. There we go. So we join the server. We have 10,000 gold. Um, and now you can obviously set this as anything you want. You can grab from configs by using variables and whatnot. You are not limited to what you can do with scoreboards other than values, really, more or less. That's, that's really all you're limited to. And now there are other scoreboards that you can use, like I mentioned before, but most times people want scoreboards for this reason. Um, if you want players, you know, their health under their head, I would suggest just um, looking at different um, tab APIs and um, tag APIs. I don't remember exactly what it's called. Um, but looking at different APIs for that or just using uh, packets um, it might be the, the one of the better ways well except for the fact that you know it changes every time the you know Minecraft updates um, but better in the way that um, allows you to do more and without having to rely on somebody else's code um, for that so that is all I got for you guys in this video if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a comment drop a like and subscribe also, make sure to follow me on Twitter at the underscore source underscore code. And thank you guys all so much for watching.